What's up, my family? We are back, and today we are checking out a scary animation. Here we go. Oh. This all started with a cup of water. Cup Every of water, morning, guys. I wake up, climb out of bed, march downstairs, and fill a tall glass with tap water and drink it. So every morning he walks downstairs, guys, fills up some tap water from the sink and enjoys. This time, the water went down the wrong way. I started coughing, oh. sputtering, almost choking. I set the glass down on the countertop, turned away, and thumped my chest until I stopped coughing. Okay, he turned back. The he was choking on the water, guys. Cup of water was gone. Oh, wait. So look, the cup of water is in his hand, guys. On the then he sat it down. Turned away. He turned away and kind of thumped his chest, you know. To get that water out, he's choking. He's like <coughs> <coughs> trying to get the water out. And then he turns back around. When I turned back, the cup of water was gone. The I cup froze, of water is gone. Motionless. Only my eyes moved, darting back and forth around the kitchen. There was a shift in the air, a subtle oh, drift, as though something was moving through the room with incredible speed. I stepped Oh, back I see some rub! I see some rub by Did y'all see it? It was like this. Subtle right here, as though something was moving through the right room here. It's about to speed. run by. Oh, I stepped back from the countertop, and my heel bumped into something. I span around, and my heel bumped into a glass of water. The glass of water is on it the ground. Over <gasps> with a dull and clattering thud, I picked it up and studied it, turning it over in my hand like it was some strange alien artifact. Okay, so he picked up the glass of water. He's how did the glass move from the counter to the ground? Like strange alien artifact. What just happened? I called my sister to tell her what happened, and she laughed. He called his sister to tell her what happened, y'all. Hey, sis, I was drinking some water in the glass, and I put the glass down, and then all of a sudden, I turned around, and I turned back, and the glass was gone. And she laughed. She that laughed. a reasonable explanation, she said. <laughs> Maybe she was right. Maybe there was a reasonable explanation for it. Maybe I dropped the glass in my coughing fit, and it somehow landed upright. No, don't Maybe. listen to her. She's not right. There's something hiding in your house, my boy. Trust me. Your things have happened. But of course, that wasn't the end of it. Little things became all too common. Each event was slightly less unexplainable than the last. But still, I shrugged it off, trying to think of reasonable explanations. But then it happened. Oh, gosh. I snapped awake. It was 2.58 a.m. on a Tuesday. Look at his eyes. <laughs> my boy is spooked. 2.58 a.m. on a Tuesday. Bright light blinded my dilated eyes. On a Tuesday. Somehow, the lights were on. A power surge, maybe? I thought. I climbed out of bed, marched across the room, and froze. I froze because my bedroom door was open. But this didn't bother oh, me too much. The door's open. What bothered open. me was the glass of half-empty oh. water sitting on the floor in the middle of the upstairs. No. 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 The glass keeps moving. Or somebody keeps moving the glass. And there's water back in it. Remember, the water spilled because he backed up on it in the kitchen and the water spilled. Now, how is there a half empty glass in the hallway? Somebody or something is in his house. Empty water sitting on the floor in the middle of the upstairs hallway. That bothered me for several reasons, most of which being I didn't put it there. No, you didn't. I didn't either. Did you? I, I didn't. I crept out into the hallway. Who put it I got there? got down and lifted the glass of water. There were fingerprints. Fingerprints fogged on the glass. Uh oh, fingerprints. Dozens and dozens of them. I literally dropped the glass as I oh, saw gosh. it. Oh, gosh. It thumped onto the carpet and spilled over, an expanding puddle of water absorbing into the carpet. I glanced over my back shoulder. Oh. This looming sense of unease climbed through my body. I pushed back to standing, and there another was another glass of water. Gla another glass? Empty, sitting on the top of the stairs. I walked forward. What's up with this? I got stairs, chills. And there was another one. And another glass. Down the steps. It was a trail of half-empty cups. I was honestly just thinking about calling the police at this point. I reached for my phone and Yeah, please call Popo. -po. It wasn't there. Somebody call the police. I always kept my phone in my pocket, even when I slept. But now it was gone. Somebody was hiding in my house. I was sure of it. I looked back over my shoulder, down the hallway, towards my bedroom. Oh. I questioned if it fell Do you in see my somebody? pocket. Or maybe I left it in my bed. I was about to go look. When he doesn't know where his phone stairs, is. Something buzzed against the hardwood floor. Oh, it's downstairs. The phone the downstairs. I made for notifications rang out. Somehow no, 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 don't go. Don't go. I turned back. I wouldn't go. Stepped forward. 
Okay, I got a question for y'all. Would you go downstairs and get the phone to call the police or would you just stay upstairs and be scared like me? He's going. Was on the kitchen floor, buzzing around in circles. I stepped over, oh, picked gosh. it up and flicked on the screen. I'd had enough and was gonna call the police, but I froze. My New eyes photo push saved at the top to of the iCloud. Screen. New photo saved to iCloud. What photo is it? I raised an eyebrow. What photo is it? Into it? And my heart dropped. It was a photo of me what? asleep. What? <gasps> Somebody took a so picture of when he was asleep. a.m. One minute before I woke up. They was in the room. He woke up. Wait, the picture was taken at 2.57 a.m., guys. He woke up at 2.58. This is creeping me out. The feeling of dread spiraled through me as everything piled up. The cups of water, the lights <gasps> turning on, the phone being downstairs, and now finally a photo of me, photo which somebody else had taken as I slept. I dialed 911. 911, where are you located? Yes. Popo. -po. answered. I responded with my address. What's your emergency? He replied. Hurry up and get here. Are you in a room? Somebody is in the house. And lock the door. I please get into so the police said, please get into a safe room and lock the door. It looks like he went into the bathroom. Brother, this is not a safe room. That's the bathroom. Maybe he has to poop or something. I don't know. Bolted to the nearest bathroom, slammed the door shut and locked it. Okay, sir. Are you safe? But um, before I could answer, a door slammed shut somewhere upstairs. He's upstairs. Oh, gosh. I said. He's upstairs. No, 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 he upstairs, brain. Popo. Upstairs, Stay another on the way. door swung open and slammed shut. The intruder was searching now, checking each and every room in order. Sir, are you there? Yeah. Yes, yes, we're here. Slamming doors were getting closer. <gasps> the final door upstairs slammed shut. And suddenly, a door downstairs swung open and slammed shut. Were there multiple intruders? Either there were, or this person was impossibly fast. Sir? Sir, are you still oh. in the bathroom? Yes. The bathroom? Yes, How did yes, they know in, I the was in the bathroom. Wait, wait. How did the police know he was hiding in the bathroom? He didn't even say that, right? So that means that that's not even the police on the phone. That has to be the intruder. The bathroom. How did they know I was hiding in the bathroom? I never told them I was hiding in the bathroom. Sir, are you there? The voice said again. He's but right outside the door. I on the other side of the door. I was hearing the 911 operator's voice inside my house. The intruder was somehow talking no to me way. on my phone. And was pretending to be a 911 operator. What? The bathroom door <gasps> rattled. Oh. Sir, open the door. He said. Dropping oh. my phone, I wrapped my grip around the handle, pulling He's back. He's opening all my it. Sir, please. I don't open think he should door. open it. I didn't budge. Sir, open the door. He said, please he open the door. Like a open the door, record, sir. Like a pre made recording. All the while pulling back at the doorknob, trying huh? to get in. The light started don't open turning it. on and off. Don't a open rapid it. cycle between light and dark faster and oh, faster. Man. Her. Lights are flickering on and off. The door. He said, almost sounding. On I don't know. Is it really the paramedics and police out there, or is it the intruder, the killer? We have to open the door, guys. I know y'all don't want to, but we gotta open up the door. On the verge of laughter now. Suddenly, outside, around the corner, the front door burst open. A voice yelled out, "Police!" And there was silence. I oh, remained quiet. I didn't trust it. Whatever I was the dealing with, it didn't seem to play by the rules of reality. I wasn't going to fall for it. I remained silent, hands gripped around the doorknob and remaining motionless. Hello? A deep voice said. I'm getting no response. Requesting backup. I hid in the bathroom for an hour okay. until the actual police found me. Well, he opened it. I was it. a nervous wreck. Okay, Understandably so. There. Telling them about the woman on the phone. Telling them about the cups of water on the floor. Unsurprisingly, they sent me in for a psych evaluation, and I was discharged a few days later. Of course, no one believed me. Even when I showed them the oh, photo man. of me sleeping, I moved out over the next month. No way I was- Oh, he moved out, guys. <laughs> he got out of there. He said, look, I'm out. <laughs> Somebody else get out of his house. No way I was sticking around after that. In hindsight, I should have moved no out way. way earlier. I'm now living upstate in a much smaller house, less places for would-be intruders to hide. I have cameras set up everywhere. He got the cameras. So this time, if anyone messes with me, I'll have proof. This is his new place. And it's all connected to my phone, too. So, I can even check the cameras while I'm at work. I might be a coward, but I'm not stupid. So, anyways, quite a few uneventful months had gone by since the incident. In fact, nothing else had even happened until tonight. I was even starting to wonder if oh, maybe gosh. my sister was right. Maybe I had a momentary lapse in sanity. But now, now I was laying on my bed. 
I can't move. I'm paralyzed with fear, and writing this oh, is the man. only thing that even remotely calms me. So something is happening right now, and nothing happened for months, guys. Now something's happening tonight at his place, and like, I don't know if y'all can see the chills, but I got chills. This is the only thing that even remotely calms me down. Earlier, about an hour and 23 minutes ago to be exact, I got home from work and crawled right into bed. That was my first mistake. I broke my ritual. My ritual was to check all the cameras before entering the house, checking to see if any motion was required. Well, he didn't the check day. the cameras. But I reasoned that I was tired, and it was late after work. I he just was wanted tired. To sleep. I'll just check the cameras in bed, I oh, thought. Gosh. But of course, today, of all days, is the day something happened. Nine hours and 23 minutes ago, the bedroom camera recorded motion. I watched the footage on my phone just 20 minutes ago. It was footage of me mulling around the house, getting ready for work, and then leaving. At first, I breathed relief. Of course it was just me. I was a little late this morning. But then, 30 seconds after I had left, motion was detected from my bedroom camera. 30 the seconds. footage appeared. My empty bedroom was on the screen. It was dark. I squinted. Who was it? There was nothing. But then suddenly, in the footage, the lights flicked on. <gasps> though, there was still nothing. They flicked on and off. And then, I saw what? something that filled me with fear far beyond anything I'd ever felt. A fear far beyond what? anything what? I even knew was possible. When the lights flicked what? back on, a person appeared. A person <gasps> standing in the middle of my room oh! with pinstripe posture. Crying! over their face like someone playing peekaboo. The footage fast forwarded on its own now. Shadows drifting across the wall as the sun outside moved down. Wait, he said they like playing like peekaboo, but it looks like this person is crying. I don't know. Now, shadows drifting across the wall as the sun outside moved downward. But the person just stood there, motionless. Motionless as the world sped by, hands covering their face, unmoving. The footage snapped back to real time, 30 seconds before I had arrived home. The person slightly perked up, hearing my arrival. Then... They dropped to their knees, hands still covering their face, and in dropped one smooth, almost robotic motion, they fell to their side and rolled under the bed. The bed which I was currently They're laying They're under on. the bed! <gasps> They're under there right now! No way the person is under his bed right now, guys. I don't even know what I would do in that situation. I would just probably scream. I'm gonna be honest, I would probably just scream. What would you guys do? I was not expecting that. He said. His <laughs> hands still covering their face and in one smooth, almost robotic motion. Listen to what he said. Rolled under the bed. The bed which I was currently laying on. The bed which I was currently laying on. Okay, I'm, I can't take this no more. Uh-uh. Uh because I still got to go to sleep tonight and I don't want to be thinking about what's under the bed. I I'm done. The sound from my backyard, my guys. Let's look at another Europe. animation. I was he said his parents were on a trip to Europe on that airplane right there. I was taking care of their house. I was home for the summer from school anyway, so it was fine. He was taking care of their house. I had been there for a few weeks and it was pretty quiet. I just went to work, came home. He's just chilling. My boy got his leg kicked up. You know what I'm saying? On the phone, watching Game It With Kev, right? No? Okay. Had some time with my friend, enjoying the house to ourselves and whatnot. Had his friends come over? But one night, I was just laying there watching TV when I heard this really uh -huh. weird, low whistling sound coming from the window that was behind the couch. Oh, gosh. He's hearing something in the backyard, guys. He said like a low whistling sound. that was behind the couch it struck me as sort of odd and i just shrugged it off but then it happened again it totally sounded like it oh, was gosh. a person standing up against the window whistling i looked out the window oh no and he goes to the window why would you go to the window that's like the worst thing you can do guys do not if you hear something whistling back there don't go to the window i looked out the window and obviously there was no one there so I figured I should go check it out. If it was something like the wind oh, he's on going the siding, outside. I should probably fix it because that would get annoying. So I walked out into the backyard. The backyard of my parents' there. house is really, really pretty. It's sparse, but sort of forest that leads to a road on the other side. It's a pretty backyard. So I looked at the house and didn't see anything. But then I heard the sound again. Oh, gosh. It was coming hear that from the whistle, the back. I was pretty creeped out at this point, and of course I couldn't see anything in the woods, 
so I hurried back through the door and I locked it behind me. He ran back in. He heard that whistle, looked around, didn't see anything. I'm back in the house. Uh -uh. <laughs> I never really heard that sound again for the next few days until one night. Okay, for the next few I days. I was asleep in my room and I could have sworn oh, no. I was awakened by the whistling sound against my second floor window. I listened hard and it was dead. He's breathing. My boy is breathing super Sorry. hard. Look at them shoulders. So I decided I should <laughs> go ahead and look out the window. I did that he whole looked out thing the window where again. I crept super slowly towards it and just sort of peeked okay. through it. Outside my window, there was a man just standing there. No way. Oh! I was really sleepy. So I can't know That's how so much creepy. of this I'm misremembering. But he was just sitting there staring at me. Why? I was completely frozen. And slowly, the man pursed his lips and I could hear that whistle again. No, he did not whistle. It was crystal clear. It made me feel like crying. <gasps> I tore myself away from the window and I hid under my covers. <laughs> the next night, I insisted that my friend stay with me. He did. And of course, nothing happened. He figured that I was just tired and delirious and maybe I was... So he had a friend come over the next night, guys, because obviously he was scared because that freaking guy was whistling outside the window that I was just tired and delirious and maybe I was right. It gets kind of anti- His friend said that he was just tired and delirious. So his friend's not taking this really serious. Climatic here, but I didn't hear it for another week or so. And when I did, it was just one small whistle just happening randomly, coming from a wall or something like that. It just happens every week or so. And it always freaks me out tremendously. What? To this day, I would never stay in that house alone anymore. No way. <gasps> He's in the freaking house under the bed. <laughs> What's going on? Why is all of these people under the bed? Oh gosh, he doesn't even know. My boy's like legit chilling behind him. Guys, what is this man gonna do? What do y'all think he's gonna do? Hopefully he don't kill him. Hopefully he just keeps whistling. Just please, please just keep whistling, bro. Gosh, I don't know if I like watching these. I hear a whistle. Sleepover horror story. This is our last one, Kevin. guys. Wait, story. his name is Kevin? No, no, no way. No way. Maybe I should just end this video right here. My name is Kevin. This story took place seven years ago. When seven I was years 13. ago when he was 13. I had a sleepover at my friend Paul's house one night. He had a sleepover. This wasn't the first time we had a sleepover. What we would do is play, play the video game, games until of around 11 p.m. <laughs> then we would start trolling people on Facebook. <laughs> and this night was Sounds no like me. Paul and I spent the evening eating McDonald's, playing video games, and watching scary movies up until around 10.30 p.m. Oh, when gosh. we logged into Facebook using a fake account we created. Okay, so they logged into Facebook using a fake account as freaking Jerry the Mouse. <laughs> Bad idea. It was sending messages to people we knew. We came across one guy Frank who lived Nancy. in our area whose name was Frank. He looks so creepy, and he lives in their area. Frank Manson. He was a black dude, buff, and had tattoos. For some reason, we thought it would be funny to prank call him. Oh, they're prank calling him. As his phone number was listed in his bio. No way. Bad idea. We had idea. a ring twice before he picked up. He picked up with a firm, yeah. Paul made a joke about Frank and his appearance. And we both were They're laughing. joking on him. So he picked up and then Paul freaking starts saying jokes, roasting on my boy. I don't think he likes that. Frank then started cursing and yelling and we hung up the phone laughing our heads off. Wow. The rest of the night, we made more prank calls. So he started cursing them out, guys, and then hung up the phone. And they continued to laugh. They think it's funny pranking people. And commented childish things on people's accounts. I think it was around 1 a.m. or something. Me and Paul were getting tired while watching a movie. And then we received a text from an unknown number. Hey there, friend. I asked who was that. Who was this? And it said, that's so funny. That's so funny. With a picture attached to it. Oh, gosh. After examining the picture properly, we saw it was a street sign 
and that, that wasn't house. far from Paul's house. Oh gosh. We both looked at each other, scared and confused. What if they come to my house, Paul asked. I tried to calm him down and think rationally. He wasn't at his house, only nearby. Maybe he is only guessing where we are to freak us out a bit. We carried on watching a movie, okay. hoping the phone wouldn't go off again. About 10 minutes later, however, we received another text oh, no. without a picture this time. And it read, look outside. <laughs> look outside, no. Me and Paul froze in fear. I remember being so afraid to even move. The lights were off, so you couldn't see us from outside. Oh. So I got the courage to take a sneaky look through the blinds. Bad idea. I couldn't see anyone, not okay. even a car. Okay, he didn't see anyone. After scanning the street properly, I said, Paul, there's no one out there. He checked as well. I told him it was probably just a text to scare us. Oh. He doesn't know where our house is exactly, like I said earlier. Are you sure? It didn't leave our minds, but we started to calm down a bit. Plus, we didn't receive a text message for a while now. And about an hour later, me and Paul went downstairs to make some noodles. Oh, gosh. As we were cooking, we get a phone call from an unknown number. Of course, it had to be that guy who had been Unknown number us. calling, guys. I said, don't answer. The phone stopped ringing. Answer it. Answer it, Paul bro. Paul then texted the number saying, I'm sorry if we upset you, but it was just a prank. The next thing that happened was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. A phone oh. lit up just outside the kitchen window. What? From the, backyard. the phone is right? No! No way he's right there. No way. And a very large man was standing there. With a knife. Oh. It was Frank. Frank. He looked so angry and held up a large knife and made a huge scratch into the window oh. to where our necks were. <gasps> we jumped out of our skin, screamed, and ran upstairs to Paul's parents. <gasps> we told them there was a man outside. There's they a man came outside. down and checked the backyard and Frank was gone. Frank was gone. We didn't tell the whole truth as we were afraid of getting in trouble. I don't think we slept the whole night. We still had sleepovers at Paul's house, but we never pranked or trolled anyone again. <laughs> they said we're done with the pranks. We also didn't hear anything from Frank, but we didn't need to. We got the message. Yes, the message was don't prank anybody. Or Frank's gonna come get you. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, these were some awesome horror animations. Wow. I'm gonna leave the links of these animations in my description box below so you guys can go check it out and show some love to the creator of these. Wow. If y'all want some more, y'all wanna see my reactions, <laughs> be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let's go for can we get 15,000 likes? But I want 15,000 likes. Subscribe for more videos just like this and click that post notification bell that way you guys are notified every time your boy gwk uploads and i will see y'all in the next video i love you guys it's gonna be hard for me to sleep tonight i'll tell you guys that i'll see y'all in the next video <laughs> peace